music helped develop your mathematical brain. In many ways, music and maths is very similar, but can music actually help your maths? I read about this woman called Nadine Garb. She is a professor of children at the Children's Boston Hospital, and she, she is currently doing research about children's neuroscience. She says that if you play a musical instrument, your brain shows changes. I think this could be true. Whenever someone used to put a piece of music in front of me and I would have to sight read it and then play it, I would freak out. This is exactly like in a maths test where I see a complicated maths problem and I overthink it. Once I started getting more comfortable with reading the music, I could look at a maths problem and not feel so scared about it. Music has really helped me gain this calmness. Music has also helped with my memorization. I, all the pieces that I play, I memorize them. So I find it easier to memorize speeches and things like that. Music and maths are similar in the way that they both have patterns. If you think about it, maths is all about, about patterns, and so is music. Here is an example to explain. So, in music, you have sequences. So it would go A, B, B, A. Or it can go in any sequence that you like. It can go A, B, C, A, or anything like that. Maths and music are also similar because they both have counting. Obviously, in maths, you use counting like one, two, three, four. And in music, you do too. You count how many beats there are on a bar and the value of the notes. The time signature tells you how many beats to count in the bar. So if the time signature is 4-4, four, four, you count 4 beats in a bar. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. If the time signature is different, you count a different amount of beats in the bar. So, let's say the time signature is 3-4, you would only count 3 beats in a bar. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Mass has frequencies, and so does music. So let's say you take a stringed in instrument. So now let's take a note. Let's take A, and A's frequency is 440. Now, if you take the string, and you put your finger halfway, and you just press lightly, and then you play the note, it will go an octave up, so the frequency becomes higher. Then, if you divide it into quarters, and then you play the note, it goes two octaves up. And if you divide it into thirds, it goes a fifth up. Now, you would think, because it is maths, which is very precise, that you would have to go exactly halfway. But, when you play the note, even though you're pressing down in the middle, the other half of the string still vibrates, which interferes with the note. So what you have to do is move your finger more than halfway to get the note you want. This is called harmonics, and it goes into some very complicated maths. Now, if you take a look around us, not only is maths and music, but maths is in everything around us. We just have to open our eyes to see it. There's lots of shapes everywhere, like circles, rectangles, squares. You use maths in, like, if you need to lay down a carpet, you need to know how big the room is. You also use maths in baking to see how, many, how much of the ingredient you need to put in. Otherwise, you could get something that tastes a little weird. Maths is also used in lots of jobs, like engineering. Where would we be today without maths? At my school, we have a subject called GEMS, which is Girls Engineering, Maths and Science, but it also includes art. This is derived from STEAM, which is Science, Technology, Engineering, Art and Maths. In this lesson, we build things that using creativity, but also we using our brains. This lesson is really great and so much fun because it combines art and maths which I think shouldn't be separated, because it is the combination of the two that really makes things great. Thank you.